Hey guys, it's Earl from Caffeine Click. Today, we will be trying three different 360 recipes and see how they differ from one another. These three methods are Spermetheus Hybrid Method, Tetsukasuya's 4 to 6 Method, and James Hoffman's Ultimate V60 Recipe. I will be using a natural processed medium roast coffee from Amihan Roasters here in the Philippines with a set of very fruity notes. For this video, I will quickly go through the recipes. I'll be showing each recipe on screen to make it easy for you to follow them. We're ready to go! But before we get started, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps us grow. I've got a lot more videos in store for you guys in the future. Right, first, we prepare our brewers by preheating them. I'm using the Hario Drip Decanter, a regular ceramic Hario V60, and the Tetsu Kasuya V60, also from Hario. Next, we grind our beans. Here are the grind sizes on screen. I'm using the Red Sonia Commandante C40 for this grinding. We will start off with Spermetheus Hybrid V60 method. I haven't seen a lot of people using it, but I believe it's a great method based on my previous brews using it. It involves kubobi, which uses something like a chopstick. Unfortunately, I only had a wooden stirrer with me here, so it kind of messed up the preparation. You can watch Spro's video on this for a guide on the kobomi. Let's speed this up. Next up, Tetsukasuya's famous 4 to 6 method. In this method, you can change it based on your preferences and you can control the sweetness, acidity, and strength. Now let's quickly go through it. And last but certainly not the least, James Hoffman's Ultimate V60 Technique. True with most of his techniques, it's a great starting point for those who want to try out V60s. I've always gotten decent cups from this method and it's a great time to try it and compare it with other methods as well. Time to see the results. All of them ended up being good cups of coffee, but that's because we're using good coffee beans. And they all have unique traits with them based on the method that they were brewed as. Right after the brew, when it's the hottest, the 4 to 6 brew was a little bitter while the hybrid method was the fruitiest one, but already leaning towards too acidic. The one using James' recipe was quite balanced. A little weak for my preference, but it was my preferred cup among the three. I let these cool down while I let my colleagues try it for themselves. After cooling, the 4-6 to six brew was the fruitiest of the bunch and was my preferred cup. 
The hybrid one, and James one, became weak and lost some flavor as it cooled. Overall, I would probably lean towards Tetsukasia's 4 to 6 method, as it gives me a lot of control and usually gives me a good cup, even when I'm not brewing on point. Still, don't let this take away from the two other methods we tried today. If anything, you should try this out for yourself and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Again, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me and see you next time!